Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, we are living in the last days. It is clear as day that the stage is getting set up for the coming empire of the Antichrist and that AI or artificial intelligence is going to play a huge role in this coming beast system. It just can't get any more clear that things have gotten to a point where they are now using AI, artificial intelligence, to conduct church services, and now they are calling for AI, artificial intelligence, to rewrite the Bible. This is a wild one, folks. Many different sources reporting on it, but this is recently in from Slay, a uh, recent article titled, WEF for World Economic Forum Calls for AI to Rewrite Bible, Create Religions That Are Actually Correct. Let me read some of this one to you guys. A top official with the World Economic Forum has called for religious scripture to be rewritten by artificial intelligence to create a globalized new Bible. This is real, folks. Yuval Noah Harari, who I've done several videos on before, the senior advisor to the World Economic Forum and its chairman, Klaus Schwab, argues that using AI to replace scriptures will create unified religions that are actually correct. Harari, an influential author and professor, made the call while giving a talk on the future of humanity. According to Harari, the power of AI can be harnessed and used to reshape spirituality into the WEF's World Economic Forum's globalist vision of equity and inclusivism. It's the first technology ever that can create new ideas. You know, the printing press, radio, television, they broadcast. They spread the ideas created by the human brain by the human brain. They cannot create a new idea. You know, Johannes Gutenberg printed the Bible in the middle of the 15th century. The printing press printed as many copies of the Bible as Gutenberg instructed it, but it did not create a single new page. It had no ideas of its own about the Bible. Is it good? Is it bad? How to interpret this? How to interpret that? Harari then revealed that he and his allies at the World Economic Forum have a solution to, to the supposed problems he just highlighted. Listen to this, folks. AI can create new ideas. It can even write a new Bible, he declared. Throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity, he added. This is absolutely wild, folks. Again, you have the World Economic Forum. You have its uh, executive chairman, Klaus Schwab, and basically his right-hand man, right hand man, Yuval Noah Harari, who are now pushing for AI or artificial intelligence to rewrite the Bible. But what's incredible about what Yuval Noah Harari just said about this, folks, is you notice, again, he said, throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity. I want you to think about something, folks. If millions of people around the globe started looking to a superhuman intelligence to shape their core beliefs, the potential for abuse would be off the charts. Whoever was in control of that superhuman intelligence would potentially have an army of adherents ready and willing to do whatever they were commanded. So they want to use artificial intelligence to rewrite the Bible. Uh, and again, Yuval Noah Harari, the World Economic Forum, and Klaus Schwab are all coming out and saying they want to, you know, make all the religions of the world happy. So let's use AI to rewrite the Bible. Where is this headed, folks? Well, we know according to Scripture that during the coming tribulation period, the world's going to worship the Antichrist, the false messiah. So make no mistake about it. Artificial intelligence, or as Yuval Noah Harari calls it, superhuman intelligence, 
Someone's going to have to have control over it. Who's going to have control over it? It's all going to be all about the Antichrist, folks. The world that's going to worship the first, be first beast spoken of in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. That's where this is all headed. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God, loves you so much that he would come down, he would be born of a virgin, he became flesh, he dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust, in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.